Welcome back to Yakuza 0. Your pal Slow Beef. It is a little late, so I don't know how much I'm going to be playing. But, that said, um, I did some stuff off camera, just for the record. Uh, the completion list is at uh, about 50%. And I did do all the Mahjong stuff. I do need to do a lot of karaoke, it seems like, too. And the little one thing of Shogi and Mezu... Oh my god, there's a lot. Alright. Let's do this. Let's advance the story a bit. Uh, I will warn you... Um, they, I did unfortunately run into one side story that I didn't want to, where some guy with a big head... Yeah. Showing him around town, basically. Then. Aw. Thanks, Shinohara. Yeah, Shinohara tried to help me out in the big misunderstanding. Hey. Everything. <laughs> you cows? I like this guy, Shinohara, already. I like the cut of his jib. Let's see. Alright. got Axe here. Hello. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Good. Just talking to Shinohara here. Yeah, this is... I enjoy his, uh, his side quest. Good stuff. Good drinks. Um, he doesn't want to go to a bar. He really wants to go to a cabaret club. Closest one would be Jewel, so I think that's right there. All right then. <laughs> I have to admit this guy does seem nice. Uh, I don't know if you've played this game before. I forget. You played Kiwami? Yeah, it was. Uh, I started with this one. That's right. Did you know about the side quest where we're doing this? I'm pretty sure I completed the whole. Okay. I didn't finish all the side quests in the game. A good fight. I love that Shinohara also kind of sort of resembles Miguel Angel Fuentes, uh, best known as Vadinho from uh, Puma Man. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Felio's here. Hello, Felio. Hey, Beef. Hey, how are you? Hello. Uh. We're just at the cabaret club here. I see. The Puma Man, yes, Donald Pleasant. Puma Rest man. in peace. The Puma Man. <laughs> yeah. See, we didn't want the gold. I figured I would drop by since I, I just finished my blood stain. Ah. Day, essentially. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that this week, uh, next week actually. Yeah. For my birthday, so. Nice. Yeah. Pretty good. I've, I've, I've heard, heard that. Spelled. I got my uh, backer's copy of it because I, I, I wanted the physical. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I hope they fix all the, the minor. I mean, all the minor, but yeah, there was, there were some minor like crashing issues with the menus yeah. but the gameplay is really yeah. fluid then there was the progression issue with patch uh 1.01 to yeah. 1.02 yeah but otherwise like i mean i have yeah. played through it and enjoyed it like I, I don't want to spoil anything so i'll, I'll just keep it to my opinion of the game <laughs> i've played it i've thoroughly enjoyed it it's exactly what i wanted from the game and i I'll, i'd be happy to see more of it it's very much a modern, modern uh, yeah. Aria of Sorrow. Yeah, it's it just that that's the like, it's like Aria of Sorrow without all the things that made Aria of Sorrow, Sorrow limited. Mm. Because, I mean, obviously, like, platforms. I still wouldn't have gone with the 3D models. I would have, I would have kept it at the 2D, to be honest. I mean, yes and no. Like, it's, it's always, it's always complicated, but... I am okay with the 3D and the way that they went with it. Yeah, the they new didn't... shaders they used is great. Yeah, and like, it's not okay. it's not just... Oh, also Kyrie. Hi, Hi Kyrie. Kyrie, sorry. 
Hey, do I need to be in uh, Parsec? Uh, nah, it's okay. If you, uh, we got three okay. people, so. Just watching beef brawl people. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, like, they, I'm surprised because they, despite the fact that obviously it was inspired on a 2D game, they made pretty good use of of the 3D function across the game. Mm. Like, and they did something which I feel was a great improvement over the GBA slash DS Vania era. Oh, Majima's here. Yeah, he's Majima's just everywhere. Out. Yeah, but I, I wasn't supposed to see Majima until the next, until something else. Cool. No, that, just that's just where he is whenever, uh, whenever you can't do any more with him. Uh, he's on break. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a smoke break. Yeah. But no, like, uh, also not getting into too many spoilers, but they do some neat camera tricks, yeah. uh, which are just fantastic. I, I'm a sucker for uh, really cool camera tricks in games. Yeah. We're still talking Bloodstained? Yeah. yeah. I so. I, God, that's they... probably my, that, that's honestly my game of the year this year. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to play it. I, I've heard, um... Oh, wait. Mechie. I should talk to him. And this is the year that Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, so that's saying a lot coming from me. Because you're a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Yeah. I, I'll say this much. One of the reasons why I really like Bloodstained is because it solved one of GBA slash DS Radio's largest problems, which was terrible bosses. <laughs> Like, I've recently played through Dawn of Sorrow for the first time, and I got to Manus and I was like, this fight is absolutely horrendous. Mm. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I understand the concept you were going for here, but it doesn't feel fun. Mm. And in Bloodstain, I can genuinely say that I enjoyed all the boss fights, which is something that really surprised me. Ooh. No, I wasn't a expecting a second. that. Now I will try to take the Kamaki slash attack. All right right so now I'm only uh, one boss well. in. Yeah. All right. I can't wait to get my own room again. When I move to Virginia. <laughs> You're moving? Yeah. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened since the last time uh, we chatted. Huh. I moved to Alabama. Got kicked out, moved back to Illinois. Now we're moving to Virginia. Wow. Hopefully it's the last time you have to move for a long while. And if, you know, well, yeah. nice after, after we move to Virginia, I kind of have to move to, we have to move again, but still in Virginia. We're just going to be looking for an apartment and it's just going to be me and my mom. Hmm. Uh, well, right now we're just going time. to be moving into yeah. the house that my uh, sister's family is going to be living in. So, so yeah. Here we go. <laughs> so I have to go. Click, pick, all right, I have to click pictures of for this guy. All right then. Oh yeah. So wait, what is this? Oh, the conditions require I can be on Dragon South page. Thanks. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, I was also I'm trying to read uh what what yeah, this guy this guy wants me to do. You're well, playing a video game, beef. It's okay. You yes. understand. How dare you not pay attention to the people you call over your game, Beef? I'm trying. <laughs> Resting here. So it's not like, a, not, not like I've never done... Wait, no, I've done that a bunch of times. I'm trying to think of any, any of the... I think Bloodstained's <laughs> the only, like, new game this year that I've played. I mean... Uh, new games... Oof, I'm trying to think. Outside of, like, Judgment? I mean... The Toho demo doesn't count, I suppose. <laughs> I was gonna say that, but it doesn't count. That reminds me, I gotta play Luna Nights. Oh, here we go. Uh, I mean, I, I've i heard good things about that game. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it's not the first time that the Toho, quote unquote, the Toho community has had a Toho Vrenya. I mean, the original idea was Komajo Densets, which was pretty decent, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, they, and then it had a sequel too, but I oh, think shit. Luna yeah. Knights is more Castlevania yeah. than Toho, and that's a good oh, thing. Oh, I for, I didn't even realize I was completing the sub story, but yeah, she, we brought Shinohara to the underground area. Uh, Ranked, yay! 
is me to no end. Then. Nope. Still probably won't uh, lead into getting to the casino area, which I haven't actually done yet since I blazed through Kiwami because I really just wanted to play Kiwami 2, and then I went on to Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise, and now I'm just itching to play Kiwami 2 instead of finishing Fist of the North Star for some reason. Oh, yeah. Judgment 2 is going to be out soon. Jeez. Mm -hmm. That's on the 25th, if I remember correctly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have... Well, I should have gotten that for my birthday. So, like, I can also <laughs> just buy things because I'm old. Things. But yeah. who, who buys things? I'm trying to think about what, what's coming on. I mean... Uh, I mean, I was severely impressed by Cadence of Hyrule. Mm. Uh, That's supposed uh, to be a really good one, yeah. I heard good things. I mean, it's not what I expected. Mm. I mean, I avidly played Crypt of the Necrodancer. And uh, did pretty well at it. So I was like, when they, when they announced the crossover, I, I felt it was going to lean more into the Zelda side, but actually no, they went the other way. And it surprisingly works. It's basically a Zelda roguelike, I want to say. Mm -hmm. but a Zelda roguelite. Which yeah, is like... This leads into Nintendo letting their IPs be given spin-offs again like they were in the 90s. So far, all they've tried was was hits. I mean, people seem to really enjoy Mario and Rabbids. Uh, people seem to really enjoy Kansas of Hyrule. I mean, options are options about. Meanwhile, all I'm waiting for is to get my hands on the new Atelier game. Um, Atelier? That, that good old classic. That's how you pronounce it? I, I... I never actually heard how it was pronounced, so it, I always thought it was Atelier or something. Atelier or Atelier? Uh, no, not a, never Atelier. Atelier. Atelier and Atelier is apparently uh, an acceptable pronunciation, but it still annoys me. Atelier. Atelier. It's a word. Yeah, I grew up on Atelier, so. The, on, the only one of that I, I'm not sure if it's the same franchise, but same devs I played was Blue Reflection. I want to get back to that, but I don't own it. I rented it from Game Boy. <laughs> that's, that's a problem. Because, but there's uh, a lot of new games this year. Which... It, was like, it was like one of the things I've been wanting to ask for for a long time was a Magical Girl RPG. And, mm -hmm. and that's like the only one to come out in years. This looks familiar. I think I saw somebody actually playing Girl RPG. But yeah, it's it's not it's not set in the Atelier there, universe as far as I know. There is a few of uh, that. Like there you I go. mean, obviously, aside the obvious one that is Neptunia. Oh God, Neptunia is not Neptunia. Oh, <laughs> I mean. Oh Lord. I murdered it, that man. Oh Lord. <laughs> Would you kindly stay down, sir? Here he uh, goes. I think he didn't realize the the, the yeah. invitation to stay down. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I've mostly been doing just like the retro stuff. I just finished up Luigi's Mansion. I'm working my way through the entire Ratchet and Clank franchise. Oh, I need to get back to doing that on stream because <laughs> I. <laughs> I can seriously. I don't I finished, know. I finished Tools of Destruction on stream. And, but that was, oh, months ago. Mm -hmm. I, need to, I need to start on Quest of Booty. <laughs> Yeah, I am conflicted with the Ratchet, but like, I grew up with the original series, right? Yeah, the first four. The first four. And like, I, obviously I really enjoyed them. I still think Ratchet 2 is an example of how to make a game with guns that isn't about, you know, cover mechanics. Uh, like, the new games aren't bad. I mean, except for Remake. We don't talk about Remake. Really? Cause uh, what? I had a lot of... No. The gameplay is fun, that's basically oh. it. Yeah. I don't know, I like I liked the remake and I went there opening day for the movie, so... <laughs> I'm a no. bit of an, an awful fanboy when it comes to that. Yeah, no, series. like, again, like... Also, I that, that loss was total like... bullshit. Mm -hmm. I, I can care I like one. Ratchet, but yeah. I gotta try that, I gotta try again, cause... You got this. Yeah, I'll at least get the image of Najira though that 
I'm just surprised to hear you say that you didn't like the 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 movie tie-in remake one. Uh, it's like God damn it. it's, it's it's the so problem weird. with it is that it kind of ruins the whole vibe of the the two main characters. And it what... ruins uh, Ratchet's side uh, character arc from the first game. There was a Ratchet That's and the... Clank movie. Yeah, there's yeah. a Ratchet Clank movie in 2016. Yeah. I, I didn't, didn't know Ratchet and Clank. It. It's just... I didn't know no, it was that accurate. popular. Ratchet and Clank. It but... wasn't. It... I mean, it was. It's not garbage. It was a fine. It was. A... It was. It was, was... Okay. Like it's not. I don't know. There's much worse out there. Like I wasn't particularly impressed. But then again, when they announced the movie, I was like, "There's no need for this." I was excited, <laughs> and no, it wasn't direct. It wasn't direct. It was. Uh, it was in theaters. Yeah, I saw it in theaters. theaters. It yeah, wasn't the movies theaters. Theaters. Yeah, I saw it. I, I mean, it, it might not, not have been in theaters everywhere though. That's a, it's, it's a possibility to that point. I don't think it was a limited run. I think it had a nationwide. I mean, yeah, but people go don't just know. live in the U.S. <laughs> U.S. is the only place on the planet. What are you talking about? Uh-huh. Uh, but, sorry, no, like... I, I, no, I was living in the void. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's good to know that I was living in the void all, this, all, all these years without knowing. Uh... The area where all, like, the, that area with all the black dots where it's all the wild pigs. Uh, that's, that's the one. <laughs> But, uh, uh, it's funny, you, it's funny you mentioned the character arc in the first game, because um, another friend of mine who's super into the series as well contends that he dislikes the first game because of of Ratchet's uh, demeanor throughout it, and that the yeah. bickering between Ratchet's them. Ratchet's a dick. Ratchet is that's a little the dick. Thing. The, first game. the point of the first game is that Ratchet's a dick. Well, see, here's the thing: is like you know, partially he's. Okay, so best way to put it, without spoiling it for some people, is there's a specific reason why he acts the way he does at that point in the game. The problem for me is that it goes on too long. Because he was, yeah. I think he was justified in his reaction, but then he didn't let go when things changed. Yeah, I don't know. Like, again... So that's just me. It, it, it's like, it's not, again, it's not the worst thing we've ever seen, but the no. problem is gameplay-wise... They had some questionable wrong. things, and like the transition to the PlayStation 3 era wasn't the best. And of course, then Insomniac was. I love the future game, though. So. Oh yeah, the future. I, future has the I'd say the best feeling gameplay of the entire series. Though I maintain that three is at, as the top tier of the entire series. And, and I personally and prefer that's two, awesome. three, but and also me getting too used to Shark Lake. Uh, Trace lock controls is what ruins the first game entirely for me because I'm like, yeah, that I mean, did not age. The problem well with the first game is that it has a weird difficulty curve. Here we go. Yes. That ending, that ending section. That final boss is so cool. Oh my god. Yeah, but you except, don't have to fight like, fighting right. Except that you can cheese the fuck out of Rake, but that's a whole other thing. Well, no, yeah, yeah. you get the Rhino it completely. No, you don't need the Rhino. On. You don't need the. You don't need the Rhino. That the, they made what? a slight mistake with Drake. There's no Which... way you could have possibly reacted to that. Oh, yeah. Jeez, what's what's with that guy? But if you have the PDA, you could basically just make that fight not really hard. You at don't all. even need a PDA. Like they they committed a slight like the slight mistake in the. Re I don't know if they fixed it in the remakes, but the the like the the damage point for the pyrocitor was broken. For the, for so the you what? Could just flame, you could just flame. You could just flame throw the boss to death. Ah, uh, wait. Uh, yeah, you're talking about Ratchet and Clank still. Yeah, yeah. the first one. All right, got it. I mean, you can also try and flame throw that guy to death, but that will still let you. You could. <laughs> so what? You would just walk up to Drek and flame thrower him, and what? It just does <laughs> like, a ridiculous amount of damage. It's not that it does a ridiculous amount of damage. It's that it, really it takes ridiculously fast. You can't really walk up to him considering that he's in a giant robot. Yeah, yeah. so I'm trying to figure out how you could possibly use the, the Yeah, but you should or... get close enough to get to use the Pyrocitor, it is possible. So it's just, it's high DPS and it just drains his health? Yeah, it, it's basically, it's just high, very high tick rate and it just hmm. slow, quickly murders him. I yeah. didn't even think of the Pyrocitor. Yeah, neither did I damage. until I saw the speedrun and then I was like, oh, oh, that's a thing. What was that, Kyrie? 
the Pyrocer doesn't have a damage cap? That's basically what you're saying? The, it's more like it doesn't have a tick cap. Like, it applies the damage, but it doesn't it's have... Gone. It just ticks very quickly. Oh, I don't want to try that out. I don't want to hit him with a box of nails. Alright. Yeah. I'll throw the nails away and hit with just the box. No, I don't think they'll let you. They won't let me do anything. Alright, there we go. Boo. Trying to not make too many puns. I don't want to get thrown out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're nailing it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. That one. That was low hanging fruit, but she went for it. And, uh... I mean, in this situation, uh, <laughs> it's it's the one. Just I'll just do the one. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so obviously, other things that are coming up this year. There's. I mean, there's WoW Classic, which everybody I know. Plays well wants to try it out. I, I, think play it I play 14. That's, I play 14. Well, it's it's kind of weird. weird. Ever in the touch. It's very it's funny weird. because, like, now we have Final Fantasy 14. Pretty much everybody and their mother is playing Final Fantasy 14 if they start now. Which I mean, I, I totally understand that. Like, I haven't picked up the game, but that's mostly because, like, I don't really have people to play with, and it's an MMO, so MMO syndrome. Yeah, I but I I kind of refuse to play MMOs because I know I'm gonna I'll get addicted to them. So, so otherwise that's, I'd I'd be I'd be all about trying to get you into EA. Again, again, that's that's the interesting thing. WoW Classic is from a different era of MMOs. Like nowadays, there's like these events. There's like, for example, like Fourteen is coming up with Shadowbringers. And WoW obviously has regular expansions, it's all about the bosses encounters and, and, and the new things. Well, Classic was from an era of MMOs where the role model was EverQuest. Wait, what's this and game? So EverQuest? Uh, no, 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 the, other, the, 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 the game World you were talking about. Yeah, World of Warcraft. Warcraft. Come on! You took... Alright, so okay. Good. What the fuck? It's okay, alright. Uh, but uh, Okay. I'm Damn, surprised dude. it didn't deal more damage, but yeah. That's an you wanted to deal more damage? I, I, know, I didn't. Enough. I'm just surprised <laughs> that the game didn't go for it. That was Fuck. quite literally a third of your HP. What the? F yeah, that was honestly. I... It feels weird because, like, why did it distribute the damage in that way? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Crazy. Like, uh, uh, that's not what I would expect to deal the, the damage, but again. Yeah, because it has some interesting like, ideas. Yeah, he just power armored through that, so... Alright, I guess... <laughs> Ouch. What? Yeah. Ouch. Alright, I guess... And a crotch shot to go with it. Hmm. Jeez. Anyway. Just being rude. Alright, I think I'm gonna not do that anymore. Okay. I'm kinda... That's fine. Yeah, so... <laughs> It's a reason why I didn't uh, con complete all of the side stuff in this game. Yeah. I'm gonna have to figure it's, it out at some point, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're looking 100% at it. Yeah. I looked at the trophy list and said, nah, good. But Mr. Trophy Hunter here, mm. he'll get it. I believe. Someday. I knew a guy who went out of his way to Platinum Bioshock 2. Ah, so that. That's not the so worst thing. I mean, it I still has an online. Was... It has an online series of trophies for its multiplayer, which. Oh, I got Go M on. Yeah. All you need is Go and Sasuke. Oh, ah, here's a there's an underground casino apparently. That's good. Oh, no, yeah. When when yeah. isn't oh, there that's an underground casino? casino. What I'm trying to say is I really like Mr. Go on Nintendo 64. It looks like... Is this the underground casino, I take it? Imagining? So, did you... I mean... Beef, I saw you play Mahjong the other day. Yes. Like, on this game. Mm hmm I mean, I don't know how no, good... I mean, no, I'm not particularly good at Mahjong. I understand the game and can mm. play semi-decently, but I'm far from being the best player. Is it is the mini game hard or is it just like basic play? Um, it's like basic. I mean, if you're trying to get the the completion point stuff, it's just like it's one of those things you can just keep doing until you know you get there. Oh. But uh, okay. yeah, it's not 
hard. It's, you know, let me see your CeeLo. I'm sorry, I just want to... Found... Yep. Sorry. No, you're right. You're good. I found, excuse me, I found it interesting. Like, I, I recently picked, I mean, learned Mahjong or picked it up. And I, I found it interesting that they would choose to put a game like that in a game like this. They seem like they just put anything they could have in this, you know? I mean, yeah, but, you know, it's like, I'm okay with... Life. I'm okay with the dice game, like like in Yakuza Zero. Remember? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, then... Yeah, here in Mahjong, it's like because Mahjong is not so much a game of luck. That's the hey, thing. Hey, I mean, God. obviously there's luck involved, but it's kind of closer to poker. Mm. Hey, but hey, even enough. more skill based, I feel. It needs more koi koi. Sorry, wait. Yes. Sorry, Kyrie. What were you saying? Voice of dogs in the chat. And where is the CeeLo at? Why can't I use this here? I think you just you don't you don't just hold on to it. You have to like physically use it. What can you equip it? I I mean it's in my regular inventory. Oops, that's Can you use it while playing? Oops. Yeah, I wonder if it wonder if it, it like consumes when you play a game. Baccarat, poker. Let's... When you start the mini game, there will be a button to press to use it. Okay. Ah, it. Okay, it gets consumed when you. you Lock rod. You do press the press, yeah. press the button, Frank. Do I have to get fifty thousand? They said. I think so. Yes. Yeah, are, are we gonna have the the beautiful Pokemon solution today? <laughs> Where instead of actually you know playing the mini game, you just buy the number of ships you need. <laughs> <laughs> We're, unfortunately, they don't let us do it, but... You have to not... earn them for it to count. True. Fair enough, fair enough. Right. I mean, I, I'd hope so. <laughs> Alright, here's the deal. It's... There is, there is a casino in Vince the North Star Lost Paradise, and it looks exactly the same as this room. It just... Right. 20 for just poker, aesthetically 20 different, for but it's right. laid out the exact same. It's expected. Yeah. Yeah. To finish the thought I was having, like, the thing about WoW Classic is that it's closer to the EverQuest era of games, where the point of the game is not, you know, the shiny new thing, mm -hmm. but the leveling itself. And it's, it's, kind of, it's my jam. Wait, I thought there was a button to use the thing. Alright. I think it's triangle. Or, I saw a triangle oh, prop that just said use. Yeah. All right. Maybe I can't do it right use now. Use item triangle. Yeah. Double down. Oh, I busted. That was stupid of me. Uh, that was not a bad call. Ah, no, no. You always want to hit on a twelve. I would have. Yeah. I. W I mean. I don't know. It's blackjack, though. Yeah. Uh, deal against dealer showing six. I probably. Could have actually stayed. I think about it, but uh, all right. Uh, it it would it would have been difficult because the likelihood is that like you are showing six is that they're probably over you already. Hmm. Situation. Wait. So if I have to earn fifty thousand in blackjack, that might only mean I need to just only win one hand, possibly. I mean, if you... it's well, it's a. All right, hundred ships. Cause yeah, it's a hundred thousand for a hundred thousand yen for a thousand ships. So okay. it's a uh, hundred ships. Per... No, it's a hundred yen per one chip. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd have to win five hundred ships essentially. All right then. Let's. Uh... Twenty more times. All right, we'll go with five hundred then. Let's see what happens. All right. Wow. Okay, that was very easy. Oh, uh, whoops, oh, that, that, that's, that's, <laughs> there you go. Uh, Easy. There you go. Yeah, I <laughs> am behind. Well, yep, that's, that's straight up 21. That's good, good job. Good, good. Uh, well, Yugi Moto. <laughs> try one more. That's my answer to this. So you had, you had a thousand, hey. you had 500, so you ended up with three. Oh, well, Yugi Moto again. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep playing. All right. I think this, this is a good table. No, it's oh, a, it seems like it's just set a certain number of uh, of black checks. Yeah. Looks like I might as well max bet. Yeah. That shows you how great my yeah. attention span is. 
Wow. Blackjack. Hello. Holy crap. My dumb lizard brain was like, oh man, his luck has turned around. It's like, oh yeah, he used that item a few minutes ago. Right. The game's like, uh, they're like, you'll know when the item is worn off, apparently. I didn't know that you were doing a 10, lu 10 sat luck run in uh, Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> Speaking of stuff and luck. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Do you have any plans of going for the five, the four job fiesta this year? The what? The four job fiesta? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. Oh, the items effect wore off. All right, so let's quit. Oh, we're ahead. Like I've been debating joining it again this year. I would do yeah. that if I was good at Final Fantasy. You don't really need to be. And if good. there was a four job yeah. fiesta for Final Fantasy three. You definitely don't need to be like good at uh. Final Fantasy. I mean, if you want the Triple Crown, you might need to be good with Final Fantasy, but usually just clearing the game is relatively easy. Here's the chance at the banker, so I can just keep betting on the banker here. I don't think I've actually played five. Five's fine. I haven't, I haven't played five yet either. Five is that game where if you fully exploit what the game gives you, you're completely broken, which is why Fiesta works pretty well. The only, the only Final, the, the Final Fantasies that I've played, if like at least more than an hour of, was any was the original NES of uh, version of Final Fantasy three, multiple versions of Final Fantasy four, uh, Final Fantasy seven, thirteen, fourteen, and fifty. If we're just talking main series. The item's effect wore game. off? It's a one-use item? Wow, that sucks. Uh, that yeah. sucks, because I didn't bet what I wanted. Whatever. Apparently, like, I was watching somebody. Apparently, they came up with the ROM hack for the NES version. NES? I don't know. The English the, translation? The, the, console, the console version of Final Fantasy V, but they just removed all the unnecessary oh, parts, like cutscenes. It's just, like, kind of a fiesta. Fiesta Rom. Fiesta Rom. Alright. So, in this you're just betting on who's gonna win? Yeah, you bet on the... the... the banker or the the house or the player. I honestly am not quite sure how Vakarat works, so... It is just... but it is just like a 50... I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's 50-50, but I don't know what it really... like, how it really works. Uh... Oh, I only got... It's very odd in the idea of you betting on yourself possibly losing. Hmm. I mean, it's one of those things. It's like you're, you're playing a game and you bet on the side that you think is going to win because the game is luck dependent. Right. Yeah. Like, there's, it's not. It's not like the most unusual. Uh, unusual concept. Yeah. So, yeah. This is weird. Yeah. The banker keeps getting a natural nine, which means the banker keeps winning, according to the game. Hmm. Apparently so. I don't know. Uh, yeah, these rules are not making sense to me. I'll I'll play the banker again. Going. I should have gone. to be the winner. So, what's the? Uh... Got a seven. So they've got the king. player as a king. So I'm playing. I'm betting on the banker. Player one. Let's see. Cards have a point value. Twos through nines are face. Tens, uh, tens and royals have no point. Aces are one. No jokers. Uh, your hands are valued according to the rightmost digit of the sum of their cards. Hand of two and three is worth five, but a hand of six and seven is worth three. Oh. All right, so the player has nothing, and I have seven, so I should win this. Yeah. I think I'm starting to understand it. Yeah. But, I mean, again, it's random, right? Still. 
Yeah, I mean, it's random for sure. It's not like, you know. Okay, so it's it's just a game of who gets high, the higher total points. Yeah, you want to bet on whoever's going to have the highest. Super 6 tutorial. Please explain the rules to Super 6. Oh, I didn't expect this thing. This might maybe we'll get more money out of playing Super 6. All right. Uh, Baccarat's a game you bet on. Player or the banker will win by getting closest to a score of 9. Six spots that you can bet. Play on the... I'll bet on the banker. All right, there, I'll bet that much. Build Isn't the Super 6 a motel? I think it Probably. is. Probably. Yes. Or was it Super 8? Six. Oh, I see. So, so it goes I to 6, and here... Might you... be both, but I think Super 8 is more common around. I might be wrong. So this would be an automatic win for... for oh, I get it, because 8 plus 8 equals 16. The rightmost number in 16 is 6. Ergo, your total is 6. Now yes. it's me. Motel 6, Super 8. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the player okay. Okay. will be an 8 to 1 tie. Huh. Alright, try betting on a pair. First value. The player pair. Take your pair. Alright, I... I really don't think I'll say the player gets a bet. He's a pair. And then let's see. Four. So the player has two fours, I win that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want that. That's what they mean by natural eight. Okay. I know this game has koi koi. But one plays eleven to one. Super six. All right, so let's bet on Super Six now. All right, I'll bet the whole the whole kit and caboodle. Does this game have craps? Yes. It does. Yep. Yeah. Press six. Player gets a third card. Super Six. six. Look at all that zero. Ooh. How did how did that be? Super Six is the banker beating a player with a six. Uh, hmm. So the idea here being that if the banker, the banker winning with a six is much less likely than in, than winning with a seven, eight, or a nine. Yeah. So the trick here is basically though that this has a big payout. So you know, in theory, then like I could at least get closer to the completion point rather than doing like one game of baccarat at a time. Yeah. Right. Um, it's kind I of like know. playing the roulette and betting on on, on zero. Yeah, I'll just bet they'll tie for this one. What the hell? Let's see if I'm right, because this so this guy's got nothing, I think. And he's got a seven. So we win with a four. One. Okay. So no, you win with a six. six. Player one. Oh. All right then. I'll keep playing, sure, because I'll bet. I'll bet. I'll bet Super 6 happens. Hell yeah. Go all in. Yeah. Time to bet on that Yahtzee. No mercy. No shame. Six. Oh, I could have gotten that with the tie thing. All right. What does it happen? It's if the, the banker beats the player with a six or vice versa. Banker, banker beat versus. player by six. Oh. With a six, rather. Hmm. Yeah, I'll keep playing. So there, there you needed a nice. Yeah. So... I'll go Super 6 again. That means the odds are well calculated. If you keep betting, eventually you'll win. 12. I mean, also a million two. monkeys. Two. Natural nine. Let me quit this one. This game sucks. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> Let's go play something else. Let's go play the roulette. A completely fair yeah. game. Roulette is cool because I have a thing for that. I will play roulette. Bet on zero. It's always zero. No, it's never zero. I have a. Uh... Oh, you know what? I have that zero card. I'm an idiot. Bet on 69. No, I could totally win this with that. Yeah. Just bet zero or double zero even. I have my black jewel. Uh, increase the chance for black to appear. So, oh. alright, I'll bet on black. So which one pays out more, zero or zero, zero? Neither, they pay they the pay same. It. They pay the same. Ah. Yeah. 
this is truly a this is truly completely and absolutely a statistical game. Good thing I used the black jewel, which totally works in real life. Mm-hmm. I think I only have to win twenty thousand here, so Casinos hate this easy trick. Poker might be kinda of easy poker too. Poker. Yay. Are the payouts on blackjack oh, terrible? Oh, yeah. I, we already did blackjack. They were pretty good, we actually. Like, we, we, we did pretty well. We got like three, didn't you see three blackjacks in a row? Yeah, I know. It's pure talent. Beef like is incredible. <laughs> pure <White> talent. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if you get a double. A you, you can't you prove that can draw it's seven. an item to boost our luck. You can't prove it. It's impossible. <laughs> you know what? If Emoto gets to... to, to win by top decking seven times in a row, I believe we can do two by checks in a row. <laughs> wonder if it makes sense to do every other black chip to make it into a 50-50 bet, but I get a bigger payout. Uh... It's like uh, people are saying to wait until Annie's up before you use a cheat item. How do... I see. But don't I, I have to win for that to happen? Hey. Mm. It increases the odds. Oh. It doesn't say that it guarantees them. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky okay. game. Yep. Alright then. Speaking of you, yeah. they finally fixed the, the Forbidden Memories PlayStation game. Well, oh god, I remember that. They've developed a version that drops up to 15 cards per duel. Okay. Which actually makes it the game, you know, fun. <laughs> <laughs> that I say. I, p I had it all on 17. Oops. I don't know if that's... This is ridiculous. I should just go out and get my... I was going to say, if that landed on 17, I'd be so pissed. I should go out and get my zero jewel, <laughs> the green jewel, and then just bet on zero and double zero to just win it in one shot. <laughs> Might yeah. as well. Yeah. It's much, much smarter. Yeah. We can do that. And let's see here. But before, right before we do that, poker is open. Mm. Yeah, right. Yay, poker. Okay. I tend to gravitate more towards uh, card games like poker and blackjack. High stakes. 50 chips. 100 chips. All right. Yeah, so we're just going to, I think I'm just going to like try to get these suckers in and win. That's all I have to do. Just, right. just, just, just do it. Good. <gasps> oh! Uh, Holy. Raise. Nice. No, no, no. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, king, right off the bat. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd right? raise him. I'd raise him. Will I scare them off, though, if I raise them this early? That's the thing. I don't think so. He's a, he's a big blind. Emmy is already looking to raise. The other two are just crawling. Raise. Just raise. Yeah, I'd go for the somebody's, raise. Somebody's looking to raise, just raise them. Alright. Uh, this is the kind yeah. of hands you, you raise. I'd call it. <sighs> All good. I'll just keep raising. Huh? I mean, there's no more cards, so it's like, it's absolute. Like, what's the best you can represent? Is it a pair of aces? Uh, yeah. That okay. is terrible. Well, I mean, we do have a straight shot. He's raising. I'll just keep raising. Well, I give a shit. Not real money. Well, at this point, the best he can hope for is is a straight and a king high. Kyu loses all. Kyu ends up losing all his money. Probably should have saved get that, a... that money from the, yeah. from the bottom. If I get uh, just... the only thing that could hurt me though is if, uh, is if Fair no, races. I'm not really sure. He's actually. raising, so I'm wondering if he's got three of a kind or or a two pair. Hmm. Let's just go for it. Yeah, could also be bluffing. It could be. Oh, so I got nothing but a pair of kings. Yeah, yeah you're you're a you, king you, with a jack kicker, I think that's called. Like again, you don't go, you don't quadruple raise. Jesus, what is gonna? Huh. Double pair. Oh, not much has run the number. That's okay. That's what I thought. Oh, ouch. That's what I thought. That, one. that was that was my. My friends, that's what we like to call winning a game by dumb luck because poker is poker. Damn. 
That's okay. Because that, that, was, that, that was so nice hand. No, I mean, we played the hand correctly. We just got incredibly lucky. No, no, I'm saying, like, that, that AI played that hand well. Did it? I think it did. Oh, I suppose. And that's I mean, why was, I play Omaha. A, it was racing on a 6 and a freaking 7. Yeah, it's bluff. But... And then a 3. Eric King's... Yeah. Not bad. Fold. Eric right, was raised playing Omaha, I will die playing Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> I Omaha is pretty it. good. I, no, I, I never really here. found Texas yeah, hold of fun. Yeah, this is, this is not going to go well. No, I'm rising. <laughs> beef, beef, <laughs> beef, beef is taking the Gus Hansen approach to poker. You can't, you can't I started a... this with 2,000 chips and I have 60,000 and I'm in it for you achievements. A... I This is not real money. It's totally fine. I, I know. You can't get a flush out of this though. <laughs> Six, eight, nine, ten. Fuck him. We'll 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 bluff him. Like I said, this is the Gus Hansen approach. Uh, approach I mean, if you can bluff him into folding, I'm gonna be like super excited. The only thing I'm just sad that we can't do the true Gus Hansen approach to, to poker, which like we go all in every hand before we even get the cards. Right. <laughs> so all we have to do is just go all in each time, you know, and then. Uh... I mean, you're joking, but that actually happened in the Poker Stars mm -hmm. tournament. That's how I used to. That's how I used to win in um, poker night at the inventory. Is I would try to like uh, intimidate them into just all folding. Yeah, it's just like, that is super. Thing. That's super easy to do in in uh, poker night. Though. It is, but it's so damn yeah, fun. Yeah, like the, the fun thing is like have reactions to it. What the, the fuck? thing? I'm uh, six. This is pretty sure. good. I would raise this. I mean, they're like, there's a, they already folded five, six, seven. They probably have really garbage cards. The fun thing is, like, what I'm talking about happened in an official Poker Star, Poker Stars, like, pro tournament. Oh, really? The guy, the guy needed to win to, to stay, in, like, in the circuit. Mm -hmm. And so that, he basically that. went all in, everybody folded, all in, everybody folds, all in, everybody folds. High everybody. card. Uh, yeah. Uh, Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on this one, because I have a good yeah, feeling. That's fine. Three, uh, four. Here we go. Uh, the fun thing is, every, every thing, time somebody the called the bluff, he just won. The funny thing is, if one of if one of them had an eight, you would have got. If one of those was an eight, you could have gotten a straight out of that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Always. Like the that's way. how my mind plays poker. It's like always go for straights for some reason. Yeah, I'm that's, gonna do the completely oh, wrong thing and just hope for a five. Yeah, I I'd, I'd say go for it. You got a bad head yeah, to five. bet on. Yeah, no, this is. A, one more this two. Is Come perfect on. setup for a straight. Pair of threes. Here we go. Come on, put her in threes. Alright, pair of threes. Uh, she's raising now, so. Hold the fuck up. What the hell is going on here aside from fucking poker? Oh, I'm extremely down for this. Hi. Hi. I'm extremely Hi. tired. Hi, extremely tired. Oops. I'm Axe. <laughs> oh. Do we win? No. Oh, the flesh. Okay, I'm just gonna keep raising. My brain got excited for a moment, going, oh, a blackjack. And it's like, oh, no, it's poker, you dumbass. We're gonna, it's we're it's gonna... funny because they're playing super aggro. <laughs> oh, I got a pair of threes now. Good. Aggro so everybody is else. best poker. Pair of threes and you're running your uh, your high card at ace. Yeah, so, you know. That's you're in thing. a better position than all of them. Get in there. Just fucking go for it. Absolutely. Well, I, I mean, well, unless one of them has a three. That can't yeah. happen. That's or relatively eight. low chances for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. Or an eight. Eight, ten, jack. Yeah, I have, I have no chance of any of that. So let's just hope for. Uh, it, it, let's hope we get two pair out of it. Hey, I, I would laugh if the last card is an ace. It would be nice. It's a jack, though. Everyone's playing for three. Uh, uh, that's not bad. Okay, nice. Two pair. Everyone's so aggressive. Two pair, two pair ace yeah, two high. Pair. That's pretty good. Like, it's weird because the AI is playing super aggro. Yeah, me is just raising all over the place. Straight. I mean, somebody ah. had to have something on this. Ooh. That is a painful straight. That is a painful straight. Yeah, getting nine queen off that. They did not have anything until that jack. Funny thing is, uh, actually, oh literally any other card would have been better for you, even though you had a. You know, the jack in your hand. You mm -hmm. might do better on Omaha. I don't know how to play Omaha. 
It's just it's just Texas Hold'em, but you have five cards. Mm -hmm. Let me try it in a minute. But let me just, it's uh... basically Texas Hold'em, but there's no there's no. Because the uh, Omaha is uh, also available. And I remember Omaha because I played a lot of it in uh, Poker Night. Mm -hmm. That was my go-to. Pair of fours. Um... Oh no! You, uh, uh, sorry, that was that's a nine. Very tired. <laughs> it was like awesome. uh, it's been a bit. I played Omaha. Maybe this is like, just, I'll just get a six and a seven. And you then... have five cards, but you can replace. But you can use two from the from what's set down on the table. Yeah. And you could use three from your hand. Yes, uh, three from your hand, two from the table. Damn it, you got garbage. A... Yeah. I mean, this one, if you win this, I'm surprised. This was a, mi this was a miserable... I hand. got a pair of nines. I got two pair. Oh, oh nice. Not, I mean... Win. Okay, two pair. Salvage it. I don't know what you could have. I mean, you could have to do that. To... Full the house! The asshole's got a full house. Yeah, I thought so. Gotcha. <laughs> I knew it. It's only two fives, right? Oops. <laughs> No. I didn't mean to four do five. that. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, four or five. Well, fair and close enough. It's still fours <laughs> and fives in the full house. I fucking knew it. My brain meets was thinking about it. Oh. I felt it out of there. I was reading Psychic Minami's wow, fucking I would mind. A full house. This was a bad. Oh place. my God, look at that. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I would have won that one. No, it didn't. Ma I mean, it didn't matter because I would have only have gotten even as far as the achievements concerned. But yeah. damn, yeah, would have had Queen's High Full House right there. Yeah, wow. The one time. Jesus. Well, it is weird how you can get both Queen's High and Nine's High, and it's just, just you know, you choose one on that full house. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I should have tried Omaha. I don't know pineapple beef, either. Beef but... never, beef never in Vegas. <laughs> I've never uh -oh. heard of uh, pineapple, so. Oh, that's not a bad. I like that. Yeah. That's never, blessed. never heard of pineapple either. Oh, this is no, this is blessed. This one. Oh, uh, nice. nice, very nice, very Pavlovian. Three, four, six. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, six of hearts and the nine of hearts. Hmm. Mhm. Mm have anything they want to plug while we're here? By the way. I stream twitch.tv slash axe immortal. He does. Hmm. I'm on the pit this Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, fun. Who are you yeah. with? Uh, Loon. Nice. Nice. I haven't done pit in a bit. I have yeah, garbage. Fold. Yeah. Oof. Nah. I can, let's just try to bully him into folding. It's like I haven't seen the AI fold their bully. That's why I'm just. My to just fold here. Let's see what I happens. I think my suit has got something. Pair of threes. Hmm. So basically, we were trying to bluff each other, but he just had something, which I didn't. Yeah. Pair of sixes would have done it. All right. This You're still is... promoting? Yes. Uh, I haven't streamed since the beginning of this month because of stuff, but I plan on streaming again once I'm actually moved to Virginia. Mm -hmm. So I guess I can't really promote my stream since I don't have any plan for a bit. So buy Bloodstained. <laughs> there you go. Choice. Yo, Bloodstained kicks ass. Nice. It is extremely good. good. I've heard. I have, I'm oh, getting... Oh my gosh! <laughs> I actually won that. That is like an 11 to 1, I think. Yeah. So, nice. no, quit. So we get the we get closer to our goal of of Baccarat becoming completion. The, our goal of becoming the overlord of the casino while not really doing things well. No, exactly. I mean, Baccarat is literally just one hundred percent pure chance. You have learned you have no control over it at all. Mm -hmm. well, you did most of it. If you do one of those again, you're done. Yeah, this is. Can't even think your way through it like with poker or anything. It's just total total twenty thousand in poker. Zero out of twenty thousand. Beef. 
Mm. <laughs> Poke her up better. Beef, Beef was playing Gus Hansen style, okay? We're, we're trying to get him into the Omaha. I, I, mean, I wouldn't play the Omaha. Play the game you like. It doesn't matter which one you play in. It's playing poker. It's all the same. It's all the same shit. It's just yeah, poker. I just like Omaha better. Oh. What should I go for now? A tie? Maybe we'll go. Hmm? Not all cards is the same. I don't think Koi Koi counts. Not all cards is the same, but all poker is the same. All poker, you play the same way. It just because it's got different features and rules and accoutrements doesn't mean it's uh, not still just poker. Oh, no, I, I come from a gambling family. Super six. Damn. All right, we'll keep going. I come from a gambling family and are all about fucking poker. All about it. Yeah. How many? How many? Have you fully 100% completed Poker Night at the inventory too? <laughs> I don't play online poker at all. Or that's not, not a, online like poker. Game poker. That's, I don't that's, play. That's I know. I get. Again, saying I, I misspoke. I don't play any video game poker at all. I own multiple decks of cards. Okay. I avoid casinos. No video game poker at all. None. Uh, not me. I am. I have incredibly terrible luck, so I try to avoid casinos and actual games. Luck isn't real. Luck is not a real thing. What? That's a fact about of, of life. Luck ain't real. What? What? I am confused. Explain. There, there's no such thing as being lucky or not. It's 100% pure chance with whatever you put in on it. Uh, your little spin. I mean... Your little touch. That's it. You're, okay, you're arguing that luck isn't an innate characteristic of a person. That's different from saying there is no such thing as luck. Come I down. mean, no, there isn't. It's the same thing. Because luck is what people ascribing uh, favorable chances to one side or another based off of things that they don't control. Uh, that's not real. It's just chances. It's statistics. It's numbers. It's percentages. Yeah. Luck isn't real. Percentages and statistics are. Dogs, cats, living together. Mass hysteria. Let me get that green jewel. And then something about Twinkies surviving an apocalypse. I don't know. That's a big Twinkie. What is, um, what do I have to do in roulette? 50,000 or 20,000? We got a QOL That's suggestion. on where ball lands. That's what you do in 20. roulette. No, wait, because the thing about roulette is if I only have to do, because if I, I have the zero, the zero thing. Then go for the zero thing. Seems like a good idea. 15 roulette. Fuck. All right. Is the rate going to go up for roulette? Can you make a, yes, please make a QOL suggestion, Shadow Hog. Save this for post game. Oh. A character's gonna ask you to do random tasks, many of which are gambling, and it'd suck to have to do this twice. Thank you. I appreciate nice. that. Could you play some poker more anyway, though? I really like poker. Poker's <laughs> really good. All right. <laughs> just a bit. Just a touch. Just a, a smidgen. Just right. five hours. A smackerel of poker, you know? Right. I'll play I'll play a little poker. <laughs> There's like a couple games. Right. Omaha. Go Omaha. Let's see. Yeah. All right, Omaha. Yes. Omaha is... See, a big secret about how all poker is the same. Everyone's working off of the same rules as you. Therefore, mm. still basically just all comes down to the same basic facts about mm. how poker works. Which is why Beef is going to raise every hand. <laughs> well, yeah, that's smart. That's yeah, getting money on the table. Right. Unfolded. Basically, you're betting on. I think, so I already have a flush. Your you're, you're big. Yeah, you're betting yep. on three of the cards in your hand and two of the cards on the table. Wait, how many cards in my hand? Three. Uh, three. 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 Three hands. Yeah, you have a flush. Yeah. That you have a flush right now. Mm. In the case they have a flush, your highest card is king. Which is pretty fucking high. Yeah. So that's actually. Given yeah. that there's the uh, the thing is. It's unbeatable, actually, because theirs is an ace. It's on the table already. King is actually the highest possible thing to have there on high, uh, high mm -hmm. in this case. They can have a queen at best. You beat that. 
So any flush that, you, that could also happen here, you've got it. It's all set. Speaking of queen. Oh, never mind. Jack is the best that they could have. On the other hand, it's yeah. extremely easy to get a flush at this point. If, so. there's, if, that, if that last card becomes a jack, then mm. that's just a stolen royal flush from you. Mm. Go ahead. Wait, king now, king. though, is my king still the high card? If Oh, yeah, it's not part of the flush. Yeah. It's not part of the flush, yeah. Yeah. And there'd be no reason to go for the king's pair anyway, so. Yeah. Right. You just go all in on ace, queen, king, 7 3. Yay. Yeah, Mia's gonna get screwed over. Yeah. You did. Very nice. What? She went all in on, like, what? Was that just queen's pair? Queen, a pair of queens? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Garbage. Well, Doc, <laughs> what do you want? Anything. You want pineapple? Texas, Omaha. I don't care. All poker is the same. Texas is the one I'm most familiar with. I'll try. I stand I'll try. by Omaha. All poker is the same. Never done pineapple. Except if it's like, you know, an actual poker, as in the, the thing that pokes. Poker is the same. All right. It's like card to discard. I mean, a poker is not. I guess the seven. So I can go for a oh, flush yeah. at least. Okay. Not pineapple involves discard. Two is kind of uh, fun. But. Yeah, stick with your flush. Alright. Paradeuces never loses. I don't think that's true. <laughs> it's very not true. It's the lowest possible pair. <laughs> it's, in fact, the easiest special hand to beat in the game of poker. Oh, is this exactly the same as 910 Jack Queen? Ooh, an outside straight. I've never played Pineapple, but so far I'm assuming that this is in fact the same hey, as Texas, where you get handed both. three and you discard one. Yeah, hmm. I'm assuming the same. Yeah, straight both directions. I did discard a seven, though, so there's one less seven, but... Pair of jacks at the very least I got. Uh, I was keep betting. Come on, eight. It would be wonderful right now. King or eight? King or eight? Yeah, that's a pair of jacks. Jacks. I, I'm, I'm gonna go for that jack. Jack, jack King or eight. King or eight. King. Wait, if there's an eight, then. Oh wait, with the wait, this is ridiculous though because with the straight, I mean, if 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 I did get that straight, I just realized then we both have the straight. I just yeah. have a high card jack. Just why you you'd prefer to see? You uh, would you have a straight considering that two in your hand? I mean, I would have, I would have eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, but now that's on. That would have been on the board anyway, or the or the river, or whatever. So because I think it's two from your hand and then three from the table. Uh, yeah, you're supposed uh -huh. to use both, both of the cards in your hand. Yeah. Yeah, they had the straight. Yeah. Actually, no. It what? looks no, like they were four cards. They so I just guess ignored their nine. They straight up ignored. This is nine. exactly like Texas Hold'em, but you d you discard one card yeah, at the start. It's That's Texas Hold'em, but you discard a card at the start. That's the only. The only thing. Okay, so you don't have to use the two. Both of the that. cards in your hand, you could only just use one. Okay, I'm just being an idiot there. Just like in Texas Hold'em. Yep. Wait, I can't. That's why I always have trouble with Texas Hold'em. I can't. Hold on a minute. I can't actually sell my chips or exchange them in this illegal casino. <laughs> This illegal casino. Mm. Well, why can't I? All casinos them? in Japan are totally illegal. Hmm. <sighs> Fuck you guys. Uh. Jeez, that stinks. <sighs> that stinks. I'm so mad. That's how they fuck you. you. Yeah, you can't actually convert them back to money. Appar no apparently, way. this is like a Dave and Buster's or something rather than an actual casino. <laughs> Dave but, and Buster's. But you're, but you're betting tickets. <laughs> Dave and Buster's. The new, under, <laughs> the new Dave and Buster's underground casino. <laughs> Bet your tickets. <laughs> it is legal. You're right. Which means that they get to hold you hostage basically however they want. Mm -hmm. Date is drunk. You passed mm -hmm. out drunk. I gotta get this jerk uh, stupid painting. Uh, 
Kamaki. Oh, what the? Uh, yeah, from the resident. Defeat them with a time limit. Right. I already missed that. Hey, boy. Yeah, I wish we had that back, but yep, I understand but... that it wouldn't make any sense. Especially, especially since they named the bar after him, and that bar is closed for reasons. Alright, we're doing dragon style, which I've never, which I don't do much of before, but... Alright, this should be easy. This is very easy. This is child's play. Fujimura. I'm, I'm sorry that K Mr. Kamaki or whatever the hell his name is. Break. What'd you say? I'm gonna take myself a break. I hope you have a, a, a nice rest of stream. Thank you much. Appreciate it. Later. See you guys. This is easy, he says, as he kicks a homeless mm. man in the junk. That's your recognize nice attack. That's pretty easy for carrying for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try it. Sure. Uh, See what happens um, in the, in the very same attempt. A move that requires you to press R one. That's interesting. Mm. Uh. It, it, this isn't working. What does it want you to do? It said press R1 when you were surrounded. Yeah, it's not working at all. What the hell? Uh, Is it something you can do in Dragon Style? That's weird. Square or triangle while holding L and not in R1 stance. Okay. How is that a roundhouse attack? Okay. Not well doing R1 attack. I don't want to do so that. It's not a roundhouse kick, it's a roundhouse. Alright. It's like, that's like, alright, if you say so, game. Alright, well. No, I don't. This, this is garbage. Come back, you fuck me. What a waste of an attack. Do you have to spin the joystick to do it? Nah, this is just crap. You might be such a lying piece of shit, I can't take it. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him. Bang. Or do you think he changed his name between Zero and Kiwami? Majima? Probably because of Majima. Probably because of things like this where he just lies about shit. Lying about his name? Lying about everything. Mm -hmm. That was. His real name is actually Steve. Mm -hmm. Were you able to experience the effects? No. I'm into the cat. I don't even care. Whatever, Kameki. Kamaki. Alright. I think it's 205, so I'm... Oops. I'm going to acquire an ability. I was about to say that all of my bluster that I've been putting up today for this... Mm -hmm. That was entirely because I'm incredibly tired. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. I've been awake for quite two hours. I am. Good I am, lord. Get some I'm, rest. I'm also pretty tired. Uh, and I have, I have a. Uh, yeah. I have shit to do. I'll boost my attack damage, though. Yeah, I gotta get That's Mark. Work. That's good stuff. That's that's useful for everyone. Absolutely. Well, you know, I gotta put in extra how work long hours. it takes you to fight Majima. Mm hmm. Right, we have saved.